Hey folks, in this video we are going to learn about a tool which is very helpful for us when we are trading into expiries, especially when we are going ahead and trading Nifty and Bank Nifty weekly options or you know the tool which we are going to discuss is more important on the expiry days. So we are going to discuss about the option pain tool in our application. So option pain is also quietly referred as max pain level. So now what is max pain and why max pain? So first, let me give you an heads up that options are in zero sum game. Wherein, if buyer profits, there is a seller who is making a loss. If seller profits, there is a buyer who is making a loss. So basically, if sellers are making money, the buyers are losing money. So max pain is a level wherein the option buyers face the most loss. So on that level, option sellers are making the most profit on that particular level. So that level being that option sellers are going to make the most profit over there. They will try to defend that particular level, right? Wherein max pain is that level wherein option sellers are making the most money. And also it is a likely chance of the instrument to expire around that level on the expiry date. Now, is that max pain level going to remain constant throughout the day? When should we refer to this max pain level? So let's just answer it very, very quickly. Wherein, let's take an example. Nifty futures price is trading at 18,120. Max pain is placed at 18,000 level, right? So majority of the buyers are facing a huge loss at the level of 18,000, whereas the sellers are making the most profit at 18,000. So this becomes my key level for Nifty if it is an expiry day. Now, this level is not going to be constant throughout the day. Let's say if uh, I look at it in the morning at 9.20, 9.30, it is not going to remain the same till 3.30. There might be shifts happening in the pain level as on how the market moves. So we need to gauge the sentiments over here. So how we are going to do that? Let's say uh, for an example, that Nifty's gain level is placed at 18,000. Okay. Now Nifty's price moves up till 18,120 and the gain level doesn't make a shift. It indicates that they are expecting a pullback. We are expecting the expiry to happen in the vicinity. Second thing, let's say Nifty goes up till 18,150, 200. Gain level shifts from 18,000 level to 18,100 level from there. That indicates there is an upward shift which has been happening in the max pain level. So the sellers who were making the most profit at 18,000, now they have vigorously shifted their positions to some upper strike. So that there is a shift happening in the open interest level and they are now expecting the expiry to happen at 18,000. Similarly, on the downside, talking about in which instrument the pain should be used at, option pain should be used at, try to use it in Nifty, Bank Nifty, it works very well. Because max pain levels requires, you know, active participation on open interest, it, it requires the instrument to be highly liquid. So we can use it on the weekly expiry days. Apart from that, if I want to go ahead and search for my desired FL instrument, I can go ahead and do that. So let's say Bank Nifty. As on how I move my cursor, I get to see how much the call buyer's profit is and how much the call put buyer's profit is at a particular level. So the on if we focus on the table of view, 38600 is my max pin level. And on that tabular view as well, it is highlighted in a bit different color. It is highlighted to show you that this is the max pain level, right? So yeah, I would say that was it from this particular video. So option pain updates in real time in our, in our application. And also option pain is available in our mobile application. So don't forget to check out that as well. Thank you.